Welcome back guys. Um, today I'm going to be canning up some uh, pumpkin. These are our homegrown pumpkin. Um, we've already eaten quite a few of them but we still didn't get a very good crop this year. Now I think we need to blame that on the grand solar minimum. Um, we're going to have a lot of trouble growing vegetables I think in the next few years. Um, so I'm going to get these cut up and uh, I'll bring you back once I've got them in the jars. Okay, so I've cut up some of my pumpkins and now I'm going to be adding some boiling water. This is filtered water. Okay, and I'm just going to filter that first rim. Now you're going to debubble. Get all the bubbles out, guys. Don't want them left in there, otherwise you won't get a good seal. All right. Now with pumpkin, you cannot puree it and can it. It must be cut into cubes. All right. Now I'm just going to wipe my rims with some vinegar. The puree, like in pumpkin soup, is just too thick and too dense and um, the, the heat doesn't get through properly. So they've tested it all and uh, they say just to do it in cubes. So that's what we do. Okay, so I've got my lid on, ring on, finger tight, and into the canner. I'll do another one. Just pop your water in. Now these will process for 90 minutes. Quart jars, 90 minutes. All right. So again, deep bubble, get those air bubbles out. And when you do that, sometimes you can notice that the um, water level, it does drop a bit. So we just top it up. That looks good. So I'm just going to top it up. Now I'm going to wipe my rims. Pop on a lid. Ring, finger tight, and that's it. That's all you do. Okay, so I'm going to get the rest into uh, the canner and I'll bring you back later. So there they are in the canner and I've added uh, some vinegar so that will help stop the jars from clouding. Okay, so I need to vent for 10 minutes. Now I've got a steady flow of steam and so I will time 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, I will put on the jiggler and uh, this little nipple will pop up and that will tell me that there's pressure in the canner. Now the reason we vent it for 10 minutes is so it, you get all the cold air out of the canner. Okay, so it's been venting for 10 minutes and now I'm going to put on my jiggler. And now the little nipple has popped up. There you go. And now we wait for it to come up to pressure. Once it comes up to pressure, mine is 10 pounds for my elevation. I then start the timer for 90 minutes. Now to find your elevation, you'll need to go online and uh, just Google it. You should find it. The canner has come up to pressure and the jiggler is rocking away. So now you set your timer for 90 minutes as we're doing quartz. Now keep an eye on your canner and uh, don't wander too far. I always stay around in my kitchen. I don't uh, answer the phone. I don't answer the door. <laughs> I just stay by the, the canner. Now the canner has depressurized and the little nipple here has come down. Now it's safe to uh, take off the jiggler. Now I'm just going to wait five minutes, then I'll take the lid off 
and then I'll wait another 10 minutes before I take the jars out. Then we put them aside and you don't touch them until 24 hours. So I'll probably bring you back tomorrow and uh, we'll give them a wash and label them before I put them away on the shelf. Now this is the next day and uh, my jars have sat on the counter overnight cooling down and they've all sealed beautifully. I took my rings off, I washed my jars and I have labelled them. It's important to wash your jars as uh, it could attract rodents. Now as much as I love canning, what makes this extra special is that we have grown the pumpkins ourselves. So uh, we do try and grow a lot of food and uh, I do try and can as much as I can. Thanks for watching.